as a child, we, I can't put words to feelings, but looking back now as an adult, that's certainly what I was doing is, is using art to escape the chaos and the pain of personal experiences that were really difficult. In terms of working on this project of Zach, life is for me short. It's really short. Do I want to live in a lot of fear and be afraid? Or do I want to live and not care? Immersing myself in life and drinking it up because it's so short. I'm Wayne Brzezinka. I'm a visual artist who works in cut paper, mixed media, and collage. And I'm currently working on a project of Zach Sobiak, who uh, has recently passed away. But I'm using items that his family sent to me to construct and be a part of, of his portrait. My process is finding those things that are interesting to me and, and, and wondering, being curious about the possibility of would that work in a, in a piece of art? Could I make that piece blend in somehow where it's seen but it's not seen? There is a process, but in terms of putting a label on it, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, I know it's just kind of evolved. Uh, this, I call it cut paper, some collage, assemblage, you know, uh, mixed media. Uh, and so there's a lot of paint, there's a lot of glue, there's a lot of, um, I love old papers and books and um, anything retro, vintage, old, anything that has life that's been lived, you know. So it's kind of mixing all this stuff up uh, and putting it together to form an image. To me, that process is the evolution of layers and layers of meaning. I sometimes feel overwhelmed, you know, if it's a large piece of real estate that I have to cover, it's gonna take a lot of time, it's gonna take a lot of energy. The more time and energy and passion and belief I have and put into that blank white canvas as it builds up and becomes this thing in the end, the, the more payoff is gonna be, that will be on the end, on the back side of that. Zach's what inspired me, I think. It's a small thing, but he has the biggest smile and the biggest grin on his face. Had just um, was so full of life and um, in the midst of his pain and struggle, I can I cannot even imagine. Like I, I can't even have context in my mind to put myself in his shoes with a terminal illness. But but he he was so full of life, you know, he was so alive, knowing he was going to pass soon. When I think about somebody who's passed away and their clothing and their fan letters and personal items, you know, that uh, were theirs and that, that gets shipped to me in a box, you know, to creatively put together in a way that incorporates them into his portrait because it kind of is who he was, there were parts of him, um, that inspired me. Deciding where they go, color dictates, and, and the colors that I'm using or, or of the piece will dictate, you know, the letters from fans, can, a lot of them they're printed on line ruled paper, so they can easily be stained with paint, so they'll go on the background, so the methodology of 
some of the things are obvious, but others will have to be kind of, you know, uh, disguised like his socks might be part of his collar or shirt uh, that I paint over. Um, so I do have to look. I constantly am going to the box and spreading, spreading it out and looking, you know, to find out where they'll um, fit the best, I guess. I told Zach's mom this, Laura. I said, Laura, my, one of my goals is to move you to tears when you see it. I want you to be moved to the point where you will cry. I mean that it would be so powerful and done with such grace and beauty. Like that's my prayer for this piece. I think one of the most fulfilling things for me in doing this is the fact that I can do it. I mean, that I can come to work and do what I love to do and sometimes get paid for it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I love what I do. I absolutely love my job. It's like I'm created to be an artist, you know? I was born to be an artist. I've learned that if I really pour myself into whatever I'm doing visually, that from the other side, that other person that sees it is going to, they're gonna feel that. They're gonna experience the life and the, the, the depth of passion that I've put into it, you know, on the canvas, that, that, that they'll feel that.